Over the course of the last few years, Chromebooks have continued to ditch ports in general across the board to the point where a lot of devices like the Pixelbook Go sitting right here actually just have two ports and both of those ports are the same thing, a USB type C. But for a lot of users coming over from Windows devices and maybe older laptops, they're not really sure exactly how to go from that USB type C to actually outputting on the screen. And just recently I had a conversation with a friend where they just weren't even sure what to do with that USB type C port. So we wanna talk about that for today's Chromebook Tip Tuesday. While USB type C can do basically everything. I mean, honestly, it could be the port that just replaces every other type of cable. It can handle video, it can handle audio, it can handle data transfer, it can handle charging. I mean, literally we could use USB type C for everything we use a cable for and not have to have any other type of adapters. The issue kind of comes up in standards. There's all kinds of different standards for data transfer speeds and there's different standards for charging speeds and there's different standards for some of the visual outputs and, and audio outputs. So you need to know exactly what it is you're going to buy. With all these competing standards with charging and audio and all that kind of stuff, it can get a little bit confusing to try to figure out the easiest way to go from USB type C to HDMI. But fortunately, this is one area where USB type C seems to be kind of settled in at this point. And in general, we found that most of these docks like this, or even just the adapters that just have a USB type C and an HDMI on them, all seem to work just fine. Now you'll see some differences on Amazon or Best Buy or anything like that between these. So there's some that are nice and slim like this. It's small, it's easy to put in a bag, but it doesn't have a lot of port selection here. You've got your HDMI that's gonna handle your video stuff. You've got one USB type A and that's gonna handle any peripherals you have like a mouse or keyboard or something like that. And then you've got a power pass through which allows your charger to also pass through this single USB-C connection. But then from companies like OWC, you get a slightly larger version of the same thing, but you get an additional USB type A and then over here you get a SD card slot and there are going to be other docks that have even more ports and all that kind of stuff so you kind of just got to look around and decide how big do I want the dock to be how much do I want it to extend my functionality but for today we're really just talking about getting the display from your Chromebook onto a television and honestly any of these things works you just need some sort of adapter to make that transition from your small screen to your large screen and I would say go on Amazon and just pick the one that looks best for the price and extends all the functions extra functions that you want to get out of your dock or adapter but guys that's it for this one if this helped you in any way give it a thumbs up go down there and hit the subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one till next time we'll see you